Today we start our time in the Gospel of Luke. We'll go through it chapter by chapter, so we're in chapter one. And the Gospel of Luke, obviously written by a man named Luke, he wrote two books of the Bible. He wrote Luke and he wrote the book of Acts. The only Gentile that writes a letter or a book of the Bible. And we know he's a Gentile because his name is Luke. It's a Gentile name. And he writes both of his letters to a man named Theophilus. Theophilus is a Roman name. And many believe that the Theophilus was probably his master at one time and that Luke was a Gentile slave. In that day, they would raise up slaves to be physicians for their families. And so most likely, here's the story. This man named Theophilus came to Christ under the ministry of Paul and gave Paul his slave, Luke, to look after him and to be his personal doctor as he went through all the trials and tribulations and physical infirmities that Paul has. But Luke, being a doctor, very exact, very precise, well, especially in chapter one, writes the amazing, miraculous story about the birth of Jesus. Only a doctor would take such detail to show that this was a virgin, that the child was born in a miraculous way. And so the angel appears, as Luke records, to Mary and tells her she'll be with child. She says, well, how can this be? I've never known a man. And the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also the Holy One who is born to you will be called the Son of God. So she recognizes that this is happening. She has to make a decision and she wants to know how could this possibly be? And the angel says, recorded by Luke, for with God nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, behold the maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. She knew trouble was ahead, that this was gonna be difficult for, well, for Joseph, for her parents, for the whole clan, for everybody. But she says this in submission, let it be to me according to your word. A great picture, if you will, of just saying, Lord, whatever you want me to do, that will I do. And Luke records very carefully for us that Mary submitted through the word of the Lord. Something we may never have a baby born of the Holy Spirit as a virgin, but we can certainly submit ourselves to the word of the Lord, regardless of what lies ahead.